Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. Now this is the chart from BitcoinCharts.com and you can see the big smackdown, I'll call this the Chris Dwayne smackdown. Uh, as you might know, Chris Dwayne and I had a debate on one of the silver interview channels at, at one point and we were in opposing camps and uh, we agreed to disagree and then he's done some Bitcoin videos it was actually right at the point when he uh, picked the top on this that he brought out his uh, anti-Bitcoin videos and uh, that's when I did the last video we had this dramatic drop now I was predicting that uh, based upon normal market uh, technical analysis that uh, I was expecting the market to bounce at the old high it pretty much did that. Uh, I think the old high was 31 point something, but you can see it came down to about 33 and it bounced quite violently. Uh, I had sold quite a few, uh, virtually all my Bitcoins by the time this happened, was looking for a correction. And uh, I used that as an opportunity to get back in. And then I used that as an opportunity to begin to diversify into other uh, cryptocurrencies now that's uh, going to be the main topic of the night but uh, before we get over to that I wanted to go to the blog and uh, take a look at that I've been working very hard on this to get this up and running and uh, there have been a lot of stories uh, breaking today there's an interview with James Turk uh, Bitcoin was covered by Zero Hedge again um, uh, there's the Adam versus the man Chris Dwayne battle going on. Here's an excellent interview with Jeffrey Tucker. Uh, over an hour long, uh, Jeffrey Tucker is uh, Austrian uh, free market economist, very much pro Bitcoin. Um, this is uh, the Litecoin rally that we're seeing, and I'll talk about that when I get into the trading of the cryptocurrencies. Just a lot of stories. There's uh, so much it's hard to even cover it all going on it seems like uh, Bitcoin is really starting to blow up and uh, get covered by the mainstream media so I wanted to take you over to the forum and you could just click this link at the top and that will take you over to the forum we've now got a version of vBulletin 5 installed and uh, the forum is up and ready uh, Kevin my uh, uh, super duper administrator has got this running and uh, I'm really excited about it because vBulletin 5 is really neat it has a lot of features so we're gonna expand the forum uh, feel free to come over and sign up probably going to do some kind of sweepstakes I had done in the past when it was the old forum I'd done a Bitcoin sweepstakes I think that's gonna be a little bit too expensive maybe I'll do a Litecoin sweepstakes so head on over to the forum sign up and uh, do that so let's go and look at this idea of these competing cryptocurrencies but before we do that I want to uh, show you Litecoin and what that is now Litecoin is uh, kind of it's been described as the Bitcoin and silver to Bitcoin being the gold uh, it has as you can see on the site, this is Litecoin.org. Um, it has a different size of blockchain. It has a different size of reward. Right now, the difficulty is not very high. It rewards uh, 50 coins per block. And uh, then it's going to turn out to have 84 million Litecoins. So it's four times the size of Bitcoin. So that would make one guess that if it uh, became adopted and accepted, then it, if it equalized and through arbitrage, etc., and through common use, then one would expect it to trade at about the quarter, a quarter or so of what Bitcoin trades for. But we don't know. Uh, now it's a little bit different. The proof of work is based on script, and that's a different type of uh, algorithm than the one that's used by Bitcoin. This type of algorithm is actually more CPU friendly. Uh, Bitcoin is mainly GPU based mining. 
Now I have my Bitcoin mining rig and uh, I hadn't used that in a while. It uh, just based on the cost, it wasn't really productive, but I am going to get that converted over to being a Litecoin mining rig. So that's uh, Litecoin. Now what you do is you just download the client and install it. You can see that it really looks a lot like, here's just an empty one that I have. I haven't used it yet. Uh, it looks pretty much like the Bitcoin client. You have your send and receive coin sections and then your transactions address book. And then uh, of course you can mine from within the client. You can solo mine or you can pool mine. Now I didn't run that. I actually ran a program called script miner. So all you would do is go to Litecoin, uh, download the download the client, and uh, you're gonna unpack it and then install it depending on what operating system you have. Once uh, it's unpacked and installed, it's gonna download the blockchain, and that's gonna take quite a while because it's fairly large. So your first startup is gonna take some time before that uh, complete uh, blockchain is downloaded. Then you can uh, go, I use script miner, you can go and find that and uh, you can download a miner. But before you do that, you're going to want to pick a mining pool. You can mine on your own, but if you do that, uh, it's less likely that you're going to be rewarded with any Litecoins. Now, the different mining pools you can see, I chose notroll.in and there's a couple of reasons I picked them uh, the first reason being that they seem to have the highest rate of uh, k hashes that's just the computing power that's in the pool and you can see that they're at 330,000 uh, the very popular one uh, was uh, light cool litecoinpool.org that's actually closed so you can't get into that one so I chose I chose no troll and the reason why I chose the one that is down here with the fee you have two different groups you have these miners down here mining pools down here that have a fee and then these up here that don't uh, so that's a, a guaranteed fee and what that means is that you're rewarded whether or not you actually find something. So they're taking a risk because they won't necessarily be rewarded the amount of coins based upon your participation. You may or may not participate in a winning uh, find of coins. But uh, so they reward you based on how much hashing power you do and they assume that they're going to find them in proportion, which they do, and then they charge this fee. So if you join one of these pools, like this pool that I joined, then uh, you're guaranteed of getting a certain amount of coins. So you can see I've signed up on their site here. It's really easy. You just go and log in. I'm actually logged in right now. You can see that it is uh, going at uh, 6.99k hashes. I've got it set low just to show you it's not really you know mining anything. It, of any significance. You can see here I've mined a whopping 0 0.067 Litecoins and uh, so you have uh, a worker and that's going to be your account and then I'll put a dot one after that and then you're going to have a password and uh, then you just uh, go and log in with your miner. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is because and you can also have this payment address that they're going to send to you so uh, you can get a payment address from your Litecoin wallet or you can go online uh, which I have uh, with uh, Vicarex and we'll go there in a bit but uh, you can get a address from your Litecoin wallet or an online account this one is from that Vicarex account and uh, then they will send whatever coins you mine to that address so those are the pieces of information that you need you download your client, you sign up for a mining pool, you get the settings under help, you get the name, the website, you're going to configure with that, 
and then the port that it's on. So those are the two pieces of information you're going to need there. And then at the home, you're going to have the name of your worker and the password. So if we go over to this script miner, uh, you can see, I'll go ahead and stop mining. And you can see how I've put that in there. There's the server. There's the username. There's the password. And there's the port. And then you just start mining. And you can see the output here. So now, as I was saying, the reason why I'm not uh, worried about sharing this is the only thing you can get from this is you could take my miner's name and you could take my password and you can go ahead and mine for me and then I would receive the reward. This is an encrypted payment address that only I have so if you want to you can go ahead and send me some Litecoins. That's about all you're going to get out of this so there really isn't any security uh, breach by revealing this. So let's go over and take a look at the uh, trading between these cryptocurrencies. This is Vicurex, or I'm sorry, Vercurex. This is where I have uh, the account for my Litecoins. And uh, you can see here that you have uh, the trading between the virtual currencies. So the first two are going to be Euros and Bitcoins. And the next are going to be uh, the DVC is DevCoin. Uh, then IX coin, Litecoin, Namecoin, and there's some others in there. These are all virtual currencies. Now, the one that I've been following very closely, as I told you, was uh, when I saw uh, this crash and I thought we were going to bottom at the old high. I jumped back in, and I didn't jump back in really fast because it happened really fast. Some of the Bitcoins I bought in back at 38, that was the best price I could get. So it, it happened really fast, and you can see now we're, uh, we hit 48 just recently, and we're trying to test into old highs. People have been throwing a lot of numbers around, around recently that they expect Bitcoin to potentially go to 100000 even $100,000 a coin. I have no idea how high it can go, but uh, I, I don't think that we've seen the top by any means. So at that point, I did flip a large amount of my bitcoins into litecoins and uh, you can see that since that point litecoin has actually risen from about 0.0045 to 48 that's where I got in it's now 0.0079 so I've almost got a double on that and uh, I can move those back if I decide to back to bitcoins or I could also buy some name coins now one of the reasons why I chose the Bitcoin Litecoin uh, virtual currency uh, exchange was that uh, you can see the volume is coming into Litecoin and one of the reasons I think it is starting to come into Litecoin is because a lot of the Bitcoin wealth uh, is diversifying into other cryptocurrencies it really makes sense when you think about it why would you want to take your bitcoins at a high and sell them all off uh, and go into dollars why not go into something else uh, that maybe is very underpriced and get back into bitcoins and the other thing that you have to know about this and there's also BTC-E that's another one there's a lot of these exchanges out there one thing that you need to know is that everything is quoted in bitcoins so uh, now you can deposit Litecoins in here, uh, but uh, I don't believe you can deposit dollars. I may be incorrect. Actually, they're pro you probably can't. But the primary uh, currency of trading on this exchange are Bitcoins. So if you have a whole bunch of Bitcoins, and I didn't have a whole bunch, but I took a few and transferred them in here, uh, generated a Bitcoin address, sent them in, and then uh, used those to purchase Litecoins. Uh, so bitcoins is the currency of the realm in this uh, cryptocurrency market now you can see that the market here for litecoins I've been watching this very closely it's still fairly thin you can see that uh, the quotes are in I'll, I'll zoom this in a little bit the quotes are in bitcoins and litecoins so uh, this column over here are the buy orders, this column are the sell orders, and here's the recently executed orders. So you can see what's hanging over the market right now 
at uh, 0.79, um, 0 0.0079 BTC to LTC is 8.8 .8 Bitcoin. So that's a pretty uh, heavy overhead waiting there. And uh, that amounts to about 1,100 Litecoins. And then right up a little bit higher is another 1,400 Litecoins. We've got 51 Bitcoin sitting here at 0 0.008. And then down here at 0 0.01, that's going to be one bit cent for a Litecoin. So a Litecoin is one one hundredth at that point of a Bitcoin. You can see there's 30,000 Litecoins waiting overhead or 302 Bitcoins waiting to be sold. So uh, there's going to be some significant, significant overhead resistance waiting, but uh, I do expect uh, this Litecoin rally to continue as the Bitcoin price rises. Now what's fascinating about this is this rally actually occurred while Bitcoin was rallying against the dollar. So as Bitcoin is rallying against the dollar, Litecoin is rallying against Bitcoin. So that's actually a double uh, bonus there. But I just really like the idea. Now, is it as secure? Um, it seems to me that uh, the crypto is just as valid. Uh, I don't know why it wouldn't be as secure. I haven't done com thorough research as I've done on Bitcoin. Uh, but uh, it seems to be that the market is indicating that it has confidence in it. The other one that I'm watching closely is Namecoin. Uh, I don't really know that much about it except for the fact that it's ba it's basing a, no a domain name system, uh, a Bitcoin domain name system, and uh, but I don't really know that much about it. The volume is very very low. I'm going to keep a very close eye on the volume. And if I do see some interest, I may diversify into Namecoin. So that's uh, the extent of my diversification so far. Uh, the dev coin, I think, is primarily for developers. So those are the top three I'm keep, keeping an eye on. Now, remember, you can always switch back to Bitcoin. So if I decided to switch back to Bitcoins, it looks like I could pick up not too many bitcoins I would actually have to go down to oh I'm sorry we're in name coins so if I were to go back into bitcoins at this point it would drop me down to a price to pick up about 20 bitcoins let's say the price would drop down to 7.007 now I got in 0.004 something so that wouldn't be bad so I could flip back into bitcoins I'm not gonna do that at this point because I think I'm very bullish on Litecoin for now so really really interesting stuff fascinating stuff because uh, I'm expecting that uh, the arbitrage is going to begin with all these cryptocurrencies and uh, there's fascinating stuff going on I don't have time to cover there are futures and stock markets that are based in Bitcoin uh, there's uh, just recently announced we'll go over to the channel again uh, I covered a story where they just recently announced that out of I think it was Malta let's find the story here uh, the first Bitcoin hedge fund has been announced and uh, so there's a lot going on uh, you can imagine that the only limitation pretty much is going to be people's imagination because whatever you can do with dollars whether that's a gamble or trade futures and options or trade stocks here's the story the first Bitcoin hedge fund launches from Malta and uh, so this is actually a Forbes story so this is not a uh, I think this is John Matonis so this is not a small deal there's a lot of news coming fast and furious for Bitcoin and uh, I don't think we've seen anywhere near a price top yet uh, I'm looking for a very rapid run actually towards a hundred dollars maybe with a pause at about 75 or so but uh, you can see from this run here um, from 34 up to nearly 50 it occurred in the span of about three days so there's a lot of firepower there there's a lot of people coming into Bitcoin and there isn't a lot of bitcoins out there to be traded uh, I think the statistic I read today was that 
nearly 70 percent uh, according to the blockchain info are just locked down in wallets and no one's trading them so the market may be actually a lot smaller than people think and uh, we could see a rapid rise in Bitcoin and an even rapid rise a more rapid rise in Litecoin and it's all very exciting and we'll talk to you next time